<laughs> Weird is all. Weird. <laughs> Your last clear chance for fantastic savings. <laughs> That's what it is. Did you? Why? Look at you. <laughs> the National Safety Council. Hmm? Oh. Ha, ha, Jack Kaborkian throws a tailgating party. <laughs> <laughs> Save some for me. <sighs> oh, look, the Pepto Bismol car. Never let this happen to you. Don't make the mistake these people made. Don't die. Mm. Well, when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed, I uh, I suppose I should have gone in for a few minutes, hmm. but I just couldn't do it. Because of the tear in the sprocket hole. Burying someone from a family, hmm? someone cut down in the prime of life. Is one of the perks of this well, job. Well, it's hard to take. I could say goodbye from here. Goodbye! Oh. Besides, I could do more good out on the road. I could keep trying to prevent other people from killing themselves in their cars. Don't cry and out Bringing to out. other families, like <laughs> the Dixons in there, inside. that heartbreak that never quite heals. Like psoriasis. It was hard to believe that just a few days before... I was being spanked by Rod The Rodden Dixon Q. family had been as happy and contented a group of people as you'd find anywhere. Well, then I showed up. Frank Jr. had just come home from college to give his dad a little help on the farm for the summer. Ever since the heart attack, Dad thought he was a basket weaver. He was a chip off the old block, studying scientific agriculture at school, and getting ready to follow in his dad's footsteps. Longer than there have been stars. Frank's girl, Betty Hutchins, had been waiting for him, of course. Of course. Everyone knew they'd be getting married before too long. When will we be getting married? Before too long. Mr. Dixon's new tractor we just arrived down at the Union Pacific Freight Station, and they all went down to inspect it. You can guess there's not much going on in this town. Allen, and just taken his driving test a week before. <laughs> Allen sure wanted to drive his dad's new tractor, but until he actually received the license, <laughs> Dad Dixon wasn't letting him on the highway. Not even on a tractor. Well, you're not ready for the high life yet. These are fruits you must not taste. <laughs> Oh, oh, do we dare? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so free. <laughs> He's off the ramp. Air bone and wing. The UP station agent had reminded Frank that the 411 streamliner was due any minute. And of course, with Betty there, he wasn't taking chances anyway. Of course, when he's with Cindy, he if don't care. That careful all the time. Well, a lot of people in the cemeteries would be alive today. That's all I'm saying. Hey, my advocate is here. It was the next Monday that Alan Dixon's first driver's license arrived in a noon mail delivery. Boy, was he proud of that license. He couldn't wait to show it to his brother. My arm's caught. Be right there. First license is sort of a milestone. It means all the roads are now open to him. This he is beautiful day. <laughs> and just as naturally, wanted to make use of it on any errand that his dad or his mother or his grandfather. I could danced with Flo Ziegfeld, you know? The only trouble was, I had to choose that moment to drive in and spoil things. Oh, it's the heat. Hide of the course, stash. When you've known a family as long as I'd known the Dixons, they don't treat you as a cop. But as a friend. I thought we were all paid up. Gonna need another 50. Real shame if something happened to this land. Looks like you're gonna have another Dixon to worry about, huh? Alan, I got his driver's license. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, my license. Well, let me see it, would you? <laughs> you bet. You see that? You're not a black female. Well, I guess that makes it official. When'd you get it? Just came today. <laughs> oh, just today, huh? <laughs> Why'd I see you out driving on Highway 30 yesterday morning? <gasps> I have no son. This is my fault. I let him take the car to go and see his girl. I'm sorry. Oh, he shouldn't hmm? have. Fine way to be starting your driving career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Violation already. You're spending the night in the barn with your crazy cousin. I'm sorry. Well, it's only a technical violation. <laughs> I didn't come here to arrest you, Alan. <laughs> I knew you'd be getting that license any day now, and I thought this would be a good time to come by and 
tell you a few of the facts of life about driving before you get started. You see, when a man loves a car very much, you recline the seat back, you take now, the car... Now, these are accident reports from my headquarters. Officer, is this going to take long? Each to... figure represents someone injured or killed in the We've got a crop out in the field. we got to cut... city the... streets. It's getting farm late. Farm roads. We really got to get... Highways and railroad We've got to mow that hay down before we got to get All it to market. All the facts and figures are here. We'll lose a lot of money if we don't... Well, some of them you've read about in the papers. Others we hushed up. Big, spectacular crashes caused by terrific speed cool. or drunk driving or some other form of what I call near insanity. Stop the near but insanity. People only squeeze the law a little at stop signs in restricted speed zones and the like. Little violations that most people get away with time after time. Little. Maybe getting a ticket or a warning like Frank Jr. did. Iowa PD but without Blue. getting hurt. But those little violations, those little chances wow. you take day by day, that's where you start playing roulette with your life. You're taking a big gamble with your life when you violate a no passing line on the road. Whoa! My earlobes won't stop growing. You're taking a big chance on the car in front when you follow too closely at highway speeds. Maybe a man will this. do these things a hundred times in perfect safety. Oh, the odds are pretty good. Squeeze mm -hmm. the law, and nothing happens. Mm -hmm. But don't forget that other law, the law of average. I regret nothing. Sooner oh. or later, it catches oh. up with you. Hmm. Now, this accident was number one for the driver involved. The first one he'd ever had. But it was his last one, too. Hmm. He took one little chance too many. Ironic. Frank is taking too many chances in his car. Mother, no. Oh, he'll be all right. Won't he, Al? He'll be all right if he takes to heart what I told him about signs. Hmm. Signs of life. That's what stop signs and all the other road signs really are. Mm -hmm. And missing one of them as you drive along, hmm. mm -hmm. just ignoring Anybody it. Anybody know this guy? Well, that's one of those little things that kills people. The world made sense Wherever an hour ago. Wherever there's a hazard on the road, there's usually a sign to tell you about it. Like a curve warning, mm -hmm. or a right of way sign, mm -hmm. narrow mm -hmm. bridge, mm -hmm. signals ahead, mm -hmm. do not enter, mm -hmm. no pass, doesn't mean a thing. And many others. All nude girls, whites only. But for too many drivers, a stop sign like this, for example, is a target. Has no importance unless they can see cars crossing the road ahead right now. A school crossing sign. For some drivers, seems to mean little or nothing. <laughs> Unless there are children actually crossing the street at that moment. As for railroad crossings... Forget them. Some drivers act as if the warning signs and tracks don't even exist. Nope. Unless oh. there's a streamliner passing by right in front of them. Dirty Mary and Crazy Larry, no! Hard as it is to believe, there are many accidents where the driver ran past three warning signs and straight into the side of a moving train. Ah, good riddance, I say. Broad daylight. But it happens even more often at night. That's when the warning <sighs> sign, the signal, the crossbuck are really your signs of life. You see, son, we all die alone yes, and afraid. The is still there, but you have to be twice as alert to see it. If you hadn't seen the sign, boy, you haven't lived. This train might come as a surprise to you. The Soul Train! Thank you very much, Clarissa. Any town, USA! Traffic signs and signals that are so easy to see in the daylight become easier to miss as the sun goes down. Twilight is a dangerous time of day when things are half visible, half in deepening shadow. Half naked. Main Street at night becomes a maze of lights and neon signs, all Congress competing though. with one another to catch your eye. So don't ever go to the city, it's but dirty. the traffic signal? In your pants. Oh, there it is. Almost lost against the other lights beyond. God, I had some times in this town. Anyway. Even the blinking red light of the railroad wigwag is hard to pick out sometimes. Build my youth like cheap gin. But anyway. Later day, these are your signs of life whose purpose is to keep you alive. Even though you don't deserve it. It's a strange thing, but some people actually resent traffic signs and traffic laws. Well, we resent you being okay. here. Cramps their style. They figure rules are for the other fellow, not for good drivers like themselves. They're communists. Here's one like that. Hmm. 
Robert Bainbridge. Bainbridge? From Meridian High? Yeah. Oh, I know him. I ran against him on the track team. <laughs> well, do you know him like this? No! No! Ah! Oh, dear God, who are you? What are you? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw myself in the thresher. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> Yeah. Even with sensible, safe driving Show people the way on the highway as the as with Whee! no traffic lights and no intersections <laughs> wow. to worry about, you might wonder, where is the danger we keep talking about? Well, here's one danger. Kidnapping. Fatigue. Yeah. On long trips, fatigue yeah. is a big Love hazard. This. Oh. You should stop at least once every hour. Get out. Ooh -hoo. Stretch your legs. Take some bennies. Get those cobwebs out of your head. I got even this. It slows down your no. reactions. And at 60 miles no. an hour or better, no. you can't no. afford it. No. 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 My life is a lie. Oh. No. No. Don't love you, Martha. No. No. Oops. Now they're Mon Pa Topper. And here is still another danger lack of attention to the road. <laughs> Sure, it's an open highway. Maybe there aren't many cars. Yeah, and I buried the victims right over there. It only takes right two there. to tangle. 40% of all expressway accidents <laughs> involve a car that has already stopped. Driven by this guy. On the road, part way on, or not far enough off. This is an invitation. Look at that over there. There's some more of it, that thing. Huh? Hawk, Mr. President, please let me avoid. Whoa! Almost ran over Kissinger! I'm gonna have to go back. <laughs> Here is another hazard of our superhighways that we patrolmen see all too often. Women drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you have to hit your brakes hard, Saints ask cry. yourself, why weren't you ready for the danger that suddenly developed? 40% of all accidents are caused by women's hinders. <laughs> <laughs> only pulls out without looking. It's always sudden, of course. And always surprising. But never dull. A man who decides at the last moment to make a Grandma, turn. no! <laughs> the entering car that fails to yield the right of way. The paid assassin cruising through town. Well, sure, the other fellow's off and wrong. <laughs> and if he causes a crash, <laughs> it's all his fault. <laughs> you may be dead just the same. Would you please, please leave? In a lot of accidents, it's pretty hard to tell just who is to blame, isn't it, Al? I ask you to talk. Impossible to tell sometimes, but there's one kind of accident where there's dance. never a single doubt. What's that? At a railroad crossing. Yep, the train sure has the right of way. Yeah, whatever. You know, the railroad's been here for almost four generations. Mm -hmm. Every farm family in these parts uses the railroad to ship their crops. We all like to ride the train. I like to pretend I'm an engineer. But why is it so many people don't see the trains at the crossings? Hmm. It seems impossible that anyone could fail to see or hear a train in motion. What train? The locomotive is certainly awesome. big enough, and the train of cars behind it may be as much as a mile long. Mm -hmm. And yet, many people who have lived through a crossing accident will say, ah! Where did the train come from? That's what they say. I never saw it until it was right on top of me. Where did it come from? None of your bees whacked. Well, it came on the rails. <laughs> it couldn't come from anywhere else. But if you paid no attention to the signs, I hear it. didn't look, and didn't listen, and you deserve to die. You, it came out of nowhere. An approaching train starts the signal while it is still some distance away. Never try to guess how far away. Don't guess at all. And don't be impatient. And don't get a haircut like the that. Train's mm. coming, and it can't stop. Trains are blameless, holy creatures. I have no feelings for you! What? This is a loveless relationship! I what? want out! What? I'm repulsed by your touch! What? Let me out right here! I hate you! Ding 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 signal in action means that a condition of fatal danger exists at this moment at this crossing. Maybe the last train you waited for was a slow freight. It took several minutes to cross. But the next one may be a fast break, eyeballing to the coast on a tight schedule. It has no time to stop for you corn-shucking crackers. Remember
Remember that many freight trains today are faster than passenger trains of 15 cool. years ago. Wow! Many crossings have more than one set of tracks. Each one a separate hazard. Eight, nine, when you cross, ten, floss. Make sure all tracks are clear. Don't trust anyone. Turn your back on hope and love. Yes, don't let a double track double cross you. Ha ha ha! Little train joke. Stop, look, and listen. The cross buck says. All Start right. Stop and roll. Let's listen. Okay. As now this stop. Train approaches. Let's see how close it comes before we hear it. I think it would go something like this. Wait for it. Any moment. Mm -hmm. And... Oh! <laughs> I'm the impish officer of death. Now, where did that train come from? The station. <laughs> where does any train come from? It comes on the rails, of course. Durhe. And who gets killed at the crossing? We all do. Someone mm -hmm. who's crossed that same track at the same place a thousand times before. Mm -hmm. I'm making choo-choo's in my pants. <laughs> One time is all it takes. Quit kissing up. Send for help. The cop won't leave. It's Big Daddy's birthday. I've got life in me, Big Daddy. Please speak to Frank about his driving. It worries me. Okay, I will. I'll do it tonight. This is the prequel to In Cold Blood. Ooh, if I surrender, Hal, I give up. What's the charge? Ha <laughs> ha! Manslaughter. No charge, Frank. I'm just giving Alan some free advice now that he's a licensed driver. Boy, I remember that advice you gave me the other day at the stop sign. Well, you keep it in mind. I will. Dad, Dad, can I take the car into town now? Okay, I'll go ahead. But take it easy. Well, I'll, I'll be real careful. Goodbye. He'll be all right. Look at the guy go. Hey, maybe we better go along with him, make sure he gets there all right. Okay, you can buy me soda. Okay, fine. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Doesn't anybody do any chores on this farm? Self-running. So? There went Alan with his new driver's license, and Frank and Betty right behind. On as nice a summer day as you could wish for. It's a good day to die. <laughs> Hi, clouds. Hi, trees. Say, you're a pretty cute road sign. Hi. You know, I've got a feeling that one of these characters is about to see their own intestines. <gasps> hey, look, that's my brother in that truck. What are the chances of that happening? Hi, brother. Hey, the cop never said anything about doing intensely stupid things. Never wave while driving. Never look backwards while driving forward. Never under any circumstances drive with your butt cheeks. My plan's working. You will die. Keep going. <laughs> Back at you. <laughs> Can I have your room? Well, live and learn. Hey, nice butt. <laughs> Toro, Toro. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I'd tuck you in, but you're dead. <laughs> Gee, lady, sorry about your boyfriend. So, you want to have a drink? Maybe at the bar car over there. Oh, I suppose the train joke is inappropriate. <laughs> sorry about that. You know, son, 40% of all I. Oh, shut up, will ya? Would you identify this bucket full of your brother? <laughs> Why don't they look, Ralph? Tell me. Why don't they look? You're deep, Ernie. No, I didn't go in. <laughs> Burying someone like young Frank Dixon is too hard to take. Besides, I hate to shovel. Mm. Uh, maybe I could just slip over there for dessert. My place nah, was out bad. on the road. Out on the road, I could at least try to keep other people from killing themselves in their cars. Oh, you're doing a great job. So if the next car I stop happens to be yours... Set a place for me at your dinner table. Don't <laughs> tell me you were only speeding a little. Only breaking the law a little. Uh -oh. Only doing something a little bit wrong. Save that for somebody else, brother. Oh my God, he snapped! Too many little follies. He's a bad cop on the loose. Someone a little bit dead. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of lunch. <laughs> Folks, we disavow anything to do with that officer. In fact, he was fired years ago. That's right. Since his reign of terror, we've instituted a strict policy. Any officer appearing unannounced at a farmer's house will be severely reprimanded. Gargancho cop. <laughs> 
Dead people are dying every day. <laughs> May fire when ready, Mr. Christian. <laughs> Available everywhere. Very good. Gary Berghoff goes undercover. Had to describe his career for the past ten years. <laughs> Look at all the dead cows under that tower. Uh. Hmm. Adele Jurgens. Hey, you hear about the Jurgens worker? No. Fell into a vat and softened himself to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my dad. Sid Milton, Monkey Boy. Hey, he's back. So, uh, where's the radar part? Ah, come on. Yeah. We can't wait for radar. Ask us. We like to help. Lou <laughs> Asher is here. This was one of the highest priced spec scripts for that time, you know. Really? Yeah. Yes, from the director of I Accuse My Parents and Jungle Goddess comes Radar Secret Service. Let's watch. Radar, a magic word. Born of a world conflict. War is good. Modest in its beginning, its only function was to warn of the approach of an enemy. A mere shadow across the screen, and batteries of guns were automatically set off. Messengers of death sent screaming into the skies to fight off the intruder. Cool, huh? This was radar in war. But with the peace came new discoveries for this 20th century magic. A lurking Stupid iceberg peace. in the path of an unsuspecting ocean liner once spelled grave disaster on the high sea. It's a night to remember. Now, thanks to radar, a warning is flashed ahead and the danger averted. But can radar save our stifling marriage? Vast deposits of valuable minerals buried deep in the earth through the ages are being uncovered continually with the aid of radar. Radar ferrets out clouds. Human lives were so needlessly wasted, scaling mountaintops or crossing desert wastelands. Now, with the help of radar, nature's innermost secrets are being made known to man with a minimum of effort. The future of radar, who can foretell it? Well, this guy can't. Already Let's... images are being flashed across wide spaces, extending the range of human vision beyond belief. Hmm? A prophecy of the unlimited possibilities of radar, it's found in the particularly Bible. in the field of scientific whoa, whoa, crime detection, whoa, 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 whoa. is the modest purpose of the picture you are about to witness. Our life is a hollow lie. Well, unfortunately, with radar, we can now get the Nashville network. Hey, powers that be is on. Get it with the color here a little bit. Yeah, forget it. Let's see. Buy more radar. Take a letter, Maria. Hello. Oh, good morning, Mr. Hamilton. Good morning, Tom. Thanks, Pam. Any report on the supplies that disappeared from the Beulah Air Base? Our Wiley beam picked up something off the African coast. Wiley the Navy beam? moved in and nabbed a gun runner that was trying to smuggle equipment in. Well, that's one case we can write off. How about the mineral deposits reported in Alaska? Oh, I've got a negative reaction. Low-grade Duralite. Well, at least we saved them the cost of a crew of geologists. <laughs> we saved them more than that. <laughs> huh? We increased the total fish catch in this country by thousands of tons. I heard about that. How did it happen? His well, face makes no sense. Well, one of our instruments got a strange signal about Bob Vila. 500 feet below the surface. It turned out to be a large school of fish. We turned the information over to one of the fishing companies, and now they're talking about installing radar on all of their ships. I've always maintained there's no limit to the possibilities of radar. Now, where's the damn donut has cart? Bill Travis reported in? Yes, sir. He thinks he has a lead on the murder gun in the Allen case. We'd have an open and shut case if he can dig up that gun. Your attention, please. You will love radar. Give yourselves to it freely. <laughs> Just get out. Get out. Oh, it's a lovely spot. I'll get the picnic lunch. 
Oh, would you look at that? Billy Joe McAllister's down there. Whoever invented this seeing eye gadget sure had it in for me. <laughs> We've been covering this highway for 50 miles without a sign of the gun. I oh, quit griping. If we don't find it here, we'll quit. Now you're talking. Come back tomorrow. Look, we've got to find it. See what's cooking. I know, my aching feet. Have you tried radar on your feet? It's amazing we can work together after all that's happened, eh, Gary? Hey, look. I have water weight gain. thing is picking up a metallic reaction. It could be the gun. We know that Alan made his getaway over this road. Perfect spot to hide a gun, if you ask me. Look, keep working that thing and let me know when you hit the exact spot. Right. You work your evil magic radar thingy. Okay, stay when. Stella. Move, over, more, more. Come on, move. There you are, that's it. Tip, Ted. Ted, I'll take you to a restroom. I thought, I thought you were over that. Hey, I found Judge Crater. Peace on Earth was all it said. Ugh, want some? Hey, I want to read that. The, the, uh, uh, oh. Uh, hmm. Evidence that Christ himself invented radar. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Alien murder case, huh? Okay, you can turn it now. Any turn old, it. Yep, any yep, old, yep, yep, headquarters yep. is very pleased with the help we gave in the Allen case. That's nice of them. At least it shows that with the improvements we've made in the telemeter, we can work hand in glove with any branch of the government. Hmm. And it should be a blow to organized crime, too, once they realize we can keep a check on them. I hope so. Right. But there's Super. still a lot of legwork we do that could be eliminated. That's for me. I don't like legwork, unless, of course... Well, what do you expect to do? Stay home in bed and have radar do all the work? That's not a bad idea. Look, what we need is more equipment. You no know, stuff. A lot of Things. the stuff we do could be done a lot better by radar, especially guesswork. That's only a matter of time. After all, we're infants in this new field of scientific detection. We must crawl before we can walk. And now I need walk, my walk. binky. Don't mention walk, please. Okay, but you can't blame me for dreaming. No, not at all. And a lot of those dreams have come true in the last few years. Like the image we get on our screen. And to think that Dick Tracy used it before it was invented. And don't forget Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers. And Lawrence Hilton <laughs> Jacobs and Roddy McDowell and Raoul Wallenberg and... Any farm kid, USA. A dinner at the homesick restaurant. Radar knows what you want to order. How'd she get into that waitress outfit so fast? Her head's a butter sculpture. There's a new girl in town. She's looking good. <laughs> Anything special today? You. The White House surprise. Hmm, what's your soup du jour of the day? We're out of Salisbury steak. Material, 10 yards of dotted Swiss. Hmm. Mm, sounds interesting. I'll order later. Well, I'm going to cash out. Blanche will be by to take care of you. I could read that a thousand times. I get too hungry for dinner at eight. Hey, it's the Boy Luck Club. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed it. Send up some gas juice. You know, laugh water. Hello. Yes, a Sid Milton there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, fine. I'll take it from here, honey. See hmm. you later. That was Honey West. If I was cooked up another job for us, should pay off. Hey, quit way. flashing the Where neighbors back there. Ooh. We'll meet here in a couple of hours. I'll have the whole layout worked out for us. We need something to drab the room up. Long time between meals. I think I'll put on the feed bank. I wish I was in love with a gal that worked in a restaurant. Free eat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Aim high, Ted. <laughs> Hey, Pillbox, hmm? want to go to lunch with me? Oh, no, oh, no. Doctor's orders. I got to take my fresh air, deep breathing exercises. I have to hurt you now. <clears throat> you know, the window's closed. Huh? I said the window was closed. Oh, you got to open it? I'm going to go have lunch with Maury Amsterdam. Oh. <clears throat> Pardon me, is this booth taken? Blackie. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Did you bring that too. tip you owe me? We're going on that job this afternoon. Yeah, I know. Well, what's the matter? Aren't you happy? If this pans out, we'll have enough dough to get married and blow this town. Do you mean that? Well, that's what I've been telling you all the time. One more good job and we can quit this racket. 
Looks like this is it. I'm so happy. Hmm. Mm. Employees must wash tongues before returning to work. Wow. Okay, oh, we're no. next. Yeah, I will. <laughs> uh, come in. I'll have the French dip. I'll have the tongue sandwich if there's any left. <laughs> How'd you get this? I told you about the plant I had at the restaurant. Well, a lot of important people eat there, and eventually some of them talk. Cheetah. Mm. You know, I'm beginning to wonder how I ever got along without you. And I was beginning to wonder when you were going to realize it. No, 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 my grandparents are making out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes? how far did you get? That leopard thing come off? Yes, I'll get on it right away. Yeah, I've got to go see if my refrigerator's running. Did you just call me? What's up? It's a truckload of radioactivated U-238. <gasps> it's headed for our local atomic plant. U-238? It's a highly potential ingredient for atomic energy. Or hot chocolate. It can be used in commercial and military use. It'll revolutionize our power plants. We have orders to keep it under closest surveillance. It's not better than radar, is it? See if you can contact it. Yes, sir. He looks like a werewolf in mid-transition. Steven Tyler? Like Moses at the Rock, I had my first doubts about radar that day. Oh, you've got the Radar Secret Service screensaver. You kids, turn off the radar. It's a school night. There it is. Well, radar doesn't make the world any more interesting, does it? Why, it doesn't have an escort. It's a closely guarded secret. I think they're very wise not calling attention to the shipment. I still think it's too risky. You don't deserve radar. What's his bearing? Geez, the government would collapse without this guy. <laughs> Highway 13, heading east. Tell him to proceed at once to the depot. Yes, sir. Look, supposing Static and I go out and keep an eye on him, just in case. Okay, call him and you get the depot. And don't forget to don't use radar. that a radar car will meet them en route. Yes, sir. This guy is one of the best interns they've ever had. Calling OX2. Boy, just imagine this on Omnimax. Wow. <sighs> we'll watch for him along the road. I'll flash you as soon as he picks us up. Right. I like that OX2 guy. It's real nice. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, what's that thing? Uh, what's that dial for? Boy, vintage cars were really popular back then, huh? There's the tunnel. It should take them about 20 minutes to reach the depot. A depot, sir. There's the tunnel. Should take us about 20 minutes to reach the depot. Keep in touch with them till they get there. Yes. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? OX3. Boeing OX3. Come in, OX3. Boeing OX3. That's probably for me. It's my car. <laughs> this is OX3. Go ahead. Hi, Huggy Bear. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. No. No way. She showed up with yes, him? Sir. Wow. Cut over to Highway 13. <gasps> it's the Nagley Capers. It's certainly taking that truck a long time to get through that tunnel. Make it go faster. Here it comes now. You can see that. I'm looking at it. I invented radar. <laughs> Tell like me about the, the rabbit again. Mess. Oh, we can wait. Why is he turning off that highway? R Radar can't look into their hearts, sir. He's just obeying orders. Try to get through to him. Tell him to get back on the highway. Yes. OX2, come in. Calling OX2. You go come ahead. <laughs> no, it's no use. The set must be fouled up. I'm going to go on break. Oh, well, we're losing him now. He's he's getting out of our beam. Send out an alert. Notify Bill of his change of direction. Keep trying to get him back on the screen. Yes. OX3. Come in, OX3. I have a name, you know. It's Dave. This is OX3. Go ahead. The calls are coming from inside the car. The dirt road five miles along Highway 13. Okay. Step on it. Isn't that funny? Wow. Incredible. A very Walton radar Christmas. <laughs> the Jodes pull a heist. That is a full acre of car there. Yep. That damn swatch. Ride. Riding like the demon that drives your dreams. 
podcast. And... Hey, pull over. Gotta hang out the radar dish. You know what I mean? When AAA was controlled by the mob. Oh, you're here. Have any trouble? I never knew what hit him. You didn't knock them off. Of course not. They're just out cold. Oh, dump them and head for the barn. I'll meet you there. All this to plan a family reunion. Mm. Here, I'll drive. Oh, I'm the only one. <laughs> See, dead body, dead. Where'd I put that thing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Damn you, dupe. Boys! The music bespeaks tension, yet I feel so empty. Chrome golf balls on sale now. That must be it. Turn in there. You said this wouldn't be fun. Colander Warehouse. All we do is colanders, and we do them right. Oh, I'll carry you. Oh, those golden grams. Oh, those golden grams. Only Radar knows what the hell is going on. <laughs> Vehicle is so close to being an unmarked car. I only do these capers for the scenery. My life is one big to-do list. The Melon Squad is in hot pursuit. Let's go, Blackie! It's not Blackie, it's african american -y. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay, I'll walk. And the goiter mobile is there. Hi, listen, I got some news. I came to tell you that we were maybe gonna, oh, hey! Take care of the boy. Ah, uh, we're done. How green was my radar? Oh, the Johnsons are early. Atrazine representative. <laughs> you know, maybe a parking ramp way out there wasn't a good idea. <laughs> oh, fun, huh? Well, as long as we're all here, let's draw names for Christmas. And where's Blackie? Squad car showed up and I had to get away in a hurry. He couldn't make it. Do you think they picked him up? Must have. It's a bad break for him, but a good break for us. How do you figure that? Won't have to cut the melon so thin. Yeah, melons. but suppose they start sweating him and he sings. Don't worry about him singing. He's crazy about Marge, and he wouldn't want anything to happen to her. Hey, Sid Melton. I'll meet you later at the apartment. OK. What page do our lines begin on? They grabbed off one of my men, but we got the truck hidden in the barn. When do you want to pick it up? You make it sound so easy. Well, what's wrong with it? The radar patrol. Where do you think those cops came from? You're going to have it halfway across the ocean before they get wise. Michael is right. They'd grab you the minute you made a move. We've got the whole town covered. Peggy Lee Looks runs like the Looks like I'm outnumbered around here. Well, what do you think we ought to do? Change pants? My first suggestion is to get rid of that radar truck. Oh, Blasphemer! You must die. And then what? I have a yacht about six miles up the river. It's called monkey business. Well, that's interesting. You can reach it from an old pier, about 20 miles out of town on the river road. Well, we need some help to get it aboard ship. Just get it near that pier. My boys will take care of the rest. And then I get paid, huh? What's the matter? Don't you trust me? This is one of those important moments in any relationship. I'd better not answer that. Look, we got it halfway to you. I want half the dough now. Well, here, Dan Fogelberg tickets. Gotta move my condom. Surprised I have any left. We're stepping out tonight, sugar. I'm sorry, I promised Michael I'd... Uh... I'll pick you up about eight, my dear. It's not the radar, it's the size of the amplitude, if you know what sorry, I mean. Brad. That's okay, I, I don't care. And never darken my carpets again! Whoa. Remember me? I'm your boyfriend, Mickey Moran. Oh, that's what right, I'm terrible with anyway? names. I don't like the way this deal is turning out. You like his money, don't you? Well, sure. What do you like about him? He's the contact we need. Just as anxious as you to get this job over with so we can all be paid off. Uh, uh, he's on fire? Your jealousy is going to ruin everything. Now look, baby. When this job is over, you figure on combing lover boy out of your hair with a fine tooth comb. I haven't combed my hair in 13 years. You know that. Her hair is soft, sir. They should have put that curl on it. 
Oh, oh, I'm not drinking. Nope. You got anything out of the ah, yeah. No, not a peep. I'm having to check the files for a possible lead. He may have a record. No waffles. Mm -hmm. Anybody we know? What? Who? No, no. Uh, it's just a picture uh, that I got out of his little black book. Whose little black book? Bob Packwood. Well, you know, the guy we picked up, uh, the fellow on the road. <laughs> Where did you get it? Well, uh, I think he dropped it. Uh, I, I picked it up off the floor. You picked it up off the floor. Yeah, that's my wife, you bastard. You know, this may be the answer to our problem. What is it? A coupon for Yams. Every one of his girlfriends. <laughs> Can I help you, smoking or non? We might be able to learn a lot from her. Bussing tables. Who couldn't? Check every restaurant in town. It shouldn't be tough running her down. Pretty run down yes. already. <laughs> but I can't. Where are you going? I don't know. How are you going to get there? I ain't certain. All the is in the no, sir. I never seen her. Well, why don't they try using that radar they're always bragging about? Well, get out of here, you filthy little man. Oh. I thought they served fun at Shakey's. Strange. That's the oddest thing anyone's ever showed me. Boy, she can really hold a smile for a long time. The layout of this place. A salad bar. Look, would you just bring me my meatloaf? Meat? Got a coop out of here. All right, two for one. Get over there. Stake out the dessert tray. Are you happy in your work? Butter. Mm. Those two haven't talked in years, have they? They're from the Midwest. Right up, everything except orange juice. I know what I want. If it isn't on the menu, we're not serving. Oh, aren't there specials sometimes that are just on the blackboard? I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. Wait here, I'll be right back. Please don't eat the daisies. I gotta call this order into the kitchen. Well, I have... Well, I found my dream restaurant. I give them two Michelin stars for service. Although the duck a la rouge was a little tough. Hey, I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> I stole the butter mints. <laughs> yeah? Hello, let me speak to Blackie. Yeah, this is Marge. Blackie? She's large. Oh, it's Marge. Oh, you mean he's in jail? I'll call you back later. I always forget he goes to jail on Tuesdays. Oh, stiffed again. That was Marge. She's large. That is a guy down the restaurant claims he's a friend of Blackie's. Well, what did he want? Well, she didn't say. She just hung up. She just hung up. Why, anything wrong? That hat. Maybe and maybe not. The cops could have got a line on it through Blackie. Well, the sooner we unload the stuff and get our dough, the better I'll like it. What's this Michael guy stalling around for anyway? I don't know. It could be business, and then again, it could be... Lila. Hmm? Yeah, and I don't like it. I'll see if I can't get some action. Stick around. Don't say bye or anything. Hey, boss. Uh, you going, oh, you going past no. this drugstore? What's the matter? You sick again? Mm. Oh, my sick. I feel terrible. My, my head hurts. My, my pulse is 140 net. My, my blood blood pressure is with Stick hypertension, and my temperature is by the arrow Fahrenheit, and, and my stomach refuses to recognize the rest of me. It, it's sore. Yeah. And you ask me, am I sick? All right, what do you want me to get you? Bubble gum. Oh. <laughs> you know, Ed, that was a, a long way for a little, little bit. <laughs> After you get the material out of the country, what are you planning to do? Oh, make a sarong or a blouse, maybe a skirt. First, we haven't got the stuff out of the country. Second, you ask too many questions. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, Michael. Is everything still as we planned? We've talked this over several times. Oh, man, they did this scene on Don Adams' screen change. test. <laughs> Moran phoned and said they got rid of the truck. You ought to be here any minute. Well, I don't want him to find me here. Phone me as soon as you get rid of him. Oh, dear. No, it's probably that nosy Mrs. Kravitz. Welcome. Welcome to the House of Mafia. 
Mmm, Laura Ashley, very homey. Well, did you have any trouble getting rid of the truck? Of course not. If I hadn't listened to Loverboy, we could have unloaded the truck at the same time and got paid off. He's just as anxious as you to get his hands on that material. Well, I hope for his sake that's all he wants to get his hands on. Well, help yourself to my booze. What do you say that yacht was? About six miles up the river. Will you tell Michael when you see him there'll be a small load on the way to his boat in a couple of hours? If we get through, we'll have the rest of it there by tonight. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> He's ruining everything. We didn't have any trouble hijacking the truck in the first place. I still say, let Michael do the thinking on this job. He's not thinking fast enough for me. He's stalling. I want action. I'm going to get it. Surprise. Hey, Benson, I got a problem. I don't, I don't remember whether the doctor mm. told me to take five pills at 8 o'clock or eight pills at 5 o'clock. Why don't you play safe and take 13? I oh, no. I'm superstitious. He's this close to being Casey Casey. 13 pills. A rattle. That yeah, stuff, it's just over my head. I don't know. Instigated. Hiya, boss. You got my bubble gum? <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. Mm. How'd you make out? Use my tongue. We'll start moving those cartons to the boat right away. What's the layout? Well, if we get through, we'll move the rest of them tonight and get paid off. Uh, I don't know. I think we're sticking our necks out. Sounds like they're sticking their necks out in there. After a 14-hour shift, I love to wear spike heels. Good morning, ma'am. Have you ever tried Mary Kay? Uh, good morning, ma'am. I'd like to introduce you to Mary Kay's line of... Get out of the bushes, Josh. Yeah, this is gonna be... Ah, uh, nothing means anything to me anymore. What do you want? A poodle. I just left Blackie. Well, he's all right, ain't he? Sure he's all right, but what are you going to do about him? Oh, Benson, see that he gets some spending money. Sure. Forget that. What are you going to do about springing him? Hmm? Well, I suppose I could call up my friend, the DA, and ask him to release him. I need him on another job. She looks like one of Donald Duck's nephews. Listen, Margie. We'll spring your boyfriend when we're ready and not before. Well, it better be soon. Is that a threat? Maybe. Well, don't try anything foolish. You might get hurt. Go see Michael. He's got all the dough. I gotta go shave above and below my mustache. <laughs> She's kind of pillowy, isn't she? Oh, hi guys. How's the caper going? We gotta start using both doors. Oh, I want them to like me. Oh, maybe I should just introduce myself. Freddie Fender. <laughs> Otto Preminger. James Carville. Uh, Harrison Ford. Because <laughs> they're carrots. There's something well, cooking. They were in awful hurry when they drove away. Didn't you follow them? No, I got hemmed in by a couple of cars, and by the time I worked my way out, they were gone. Well, uh, so you got every road out of town covered by a beam. They haven't got a chance. The moment they make a move, I'll know it. Suppose we start cruising. You can signal us if anything turns up. Right. Doesn't he ever leave the office? You have to carry your hummels everywhere. We're going to head north. We'll be back in a couple of hours for another load. Meanwhile, you men lay low. I'm going to till the back 40. You guys start disking. Farm stuff, right? Well, okay, I'll drive to Racine, then you take over after Toma. You know, I grew up in a house smaller than that car. True. On the farm? Oh. On the days we sweated out on the street on the last train. You know, the small gangster farmers are just a thing of the past. Hey, Thelma and Luigi. <laughs> oh, there goes the knee. No, I will not kiss you for a dollar. As a matter of fact, he does own the road. <laughs> Man, I thought Radio Shack stood for quality. Stands for failing mall. That's it. It's that sedan heading north. License... Foxy 03 1. 1768. Send out an alert. Then try to get hold of Bill. Yes, sir. Oh, good. Back to empty nest. I can't figure out how Marge fits into this picture. Move over. Well, all we know for sure is that she's Blackie's girlfriend. 
I hope for her sake she's not any deeper in this. She sure looks like a nice kid. OX3. Calling OX3. This is OX3. Go ahead. What? Oh, oh, hi, Chief. What? Oh, I'm wearing a fedora. Why? River what? Highway heading north. License number 031768. Check. Great license number. Head out on the highway. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka. Looking for adventure. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. Duplicate shots with radar. Yes, thanks to radar, we only needed to shoot three scenes. I can't grow a mustache. <laughs> Right, kettle drums, all sizes, kettle drums. Get them here. That looks like them there. Ah, uh, the uh, Chevy with the rice cooker on its roof is following us again. Oh, those golden grounds. Golden grounds. This looks like where they filmed a bunch of Barnaby Jones episodes. Well, speaking of Barnabas Jones, did Mr. Woodman ever have Cotter as a student? Well, yeah, that's why they called it Welcome Back, Cotter. Oh, that's it. Oh. Well, was Juan Epstein Puerto Rican or Jewish? Well, he was both. That was his whole oh, gig. I, I mean, get that it was now. the whole... Hmm. Wow. It was the whole gag of Where's Epstein. Some... Come on. Hence the name Juan. Juan Epstein. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome. You know, this movie, biggest September opening in history. Even beat out Under Siege. Get out. No, I won't. Get out. No. Keep an eye on this thing. I'll see if I can spot the men. All right. Oh, those golden grams. Oh, those golden grams. Oh, those golden grams. Thanks to Radar, the scene promptly ends. Flash, footage used over and over. Radar rocked by scandal. Exclusive photos of early morning raid. See the shaken radar moments after the charges of footage duplication. Cute. Thank you. It really was quite nice. I liked it too. <laughs> Quick little bit, wasn't it? Yeah. We checked on the ownership of that car. Stolen about a week ago. They'll be very leery about moving any of that material after this. I don't think I'm going to wait for them to move. They called it Moby Car. <laughs> I see the belly of the great white car. Thanks for the lift. Is Moran up there? I don't know, but I'm supposed to meet him here. I resent you. Good night. Man, I'm chafing like a bear. These Italian bun huggers give me no room at all. Oh, a message for me. Top boss needs to talk. I never got this message. Come in, I want to talk to you. Come in? How much more in could I be? <laughs> I don't remember having a date with you. I must have been drunk. You will. How'd you get in here? Same way you did. Levitation. Well, what do you want? Same thing you want. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind. It's about that car that was abandoned a while back. What's that got to do with me? You look like one of the boys that got away. Lots of guys look like me. You should see my mother. Sorry, you'll have to try a new attack. That's a good suggestion. Let's go down to headquarters. It's a bum rap, copper. I need a bigger steering wheel. <laughs> Mickey. I like your cakes. <gasps> I, I mean your desserts. I, oh, oh, never mind. Here, I've got your coleslaw. What are you doing here? I just drove up with Benson. Is he up there? Yeah. How about Blackie? Now, how about him? Oh, outwitted again. Thank Mind if I call my attorney? Sure, go right ahead. Hello, law offices. Oh. I'm dull. No, I'm way duller. No, oh, okay, name my character. Ah, uh, gee, I, I, I can't see. See, well, which one of us is the good guy? I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> well, who am I? Ah, the Martin and Lewis breakup was so sad. Oh, don't put that punch in the toilet. Take it there. Oh, boy. Sparky? Sparky Bad Dog? No! He was checking up on that car we ditched. They sure didn't waste any time. My gun, give me mine. Wait a minute, not here. We'll take him down the back way. Okay, let's do that weekend at Bernie routine. <laughs> For a 
Shaka Shaka Door me Meryl Oh, they're the best man! It's all right, Myrtle. I'll take care of it. Thank you! The director's <laughs> mistress, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The director's <laughs> mistress. Oh, good guy, bad guy. Good guy or bad guy? I don't know. Don't say it. I know. I'm blurry. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Hey, where are my fries? Oh. Oh. Ooh, I must have got a bad clown burger. Well, what'd you use? A sledgehammer? Hey, wait a minute. I didn't do it. No, I don't think you're the type. Anyway, if you had, you wouldn't have stuck around to play nursemaid. You hurt bad? I'll live. Mm -hmm. He's demonic. Hey, wait a minute. You're, you're Blackie's girl, aren't you? That's no crime. No. Not in a strictly Cartesian sense. It's a crime the way your friends are letting him take the rap for them. I don't know what you're talking about. We don't Put either. Put it this way. With Blackie in jail, they don't have to cut him in on the payoff. Ooh. You don't call that playing it smart, do you? What do you want me to do about it? Dress as a leopard and sing La Traviata. Hmm? You help us, we'll help Blackie. Tell us who's behind this. You scratch my hand, I'll wash you. You mean up. if I talk, you'll release him? I can't make any promises, but we'll do all we can. Mm, I'll have to run it by the sales manager. Look, if you think your friends are going to be big-hearted and help Blackie, you're wasting your time. Let me think it over, I said. Then, just when I thought I had the situation under control, a roof fell in. Boom, it went. When I came to, there was Blackie's girlfriend looking at me. What a wonderful way to wake up. Shut up. I tried to get her to talk. Even promised to go easy on Blackie if she did. No soap. I think she's softening, though. I hope so, for her sake. Hi, sugar lumps. Hi, lammy legs. Mm -hmm. Wasn't such a good idea after all. It's too bad they didn't get Mickey, too. You been around? Not yet. Good jumble today. I'm getting a little jittery about the whole thing myself. They seem to know every move we make. Right on. You know where to reach Moran? He must be at the barn. Get him on the phone and have him come over. Got an idea I think might work. I wonder if she ever talks into the statue by accident. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? I'm sick of listening to you. Always complaining. Well, you're probably healthier than I am. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. This is the last straw. This joint is killing me. I'm getting out. I'm leaving. To get a drink of water. <laughs> hmm? Thank you, Sid. Was it anything important? Oh, Lila wants to talk over something lover boys dreamed up. Yeah. Why don't we turn over the stuff to him right here and get the rest of our dough? The longer oh. we hold on to it, the hotter it gets. I yeah. tried to sell him on that idea, but he won't hold still. He wants to load on the yacht. You don't suppose he's trying to pull a fast one on us, do you? Hey, that's it. He might try to double cross us, huh? Keep your shirt on. Yeah, please. I'll see what's cooking. Sure, swell, Palooka, wise guy, huh? Uh, well, then it looks like we can't do a thing until they move some more of the material. That's right. Our beams are all transverse on a horizontal plane. Uh, sir, your flies... Anything would oh. have to cross in front of these beams first... Yeah, uh, sir. You're... ...before we get a reaction. But they may hold up for months. Look, if we put our equipment up high, we can spot them in no time, couldn't we? You mean fly over the city in a plane? Exactly. No, a duck. Well, even if you could throttle down to 100 miles an hour, I'm afraid that'd be too fast for our outfit to pick up anything. It doesn't have to be a plane. No, how about a, a balloon? Sure, or a blimp or a helicopter. Anything that'll float right over the rooftops. And beam down on the hidden material. That's right. I'll get busy on it right away. See, here I am. Busy, busy, busy. Get me in the airfield. Man, she must get a keg of Cuddy Sark every weekend. <laughs> Is that unusual? Pretty close call, eh, Moran? I can't understand how they could spot me so quickly. Radar! Radar! We can't make a move without ringing a bell. That's exactly what I have in mind. Ding, ding, ding. Say we move another load of the material. They send out an alert, and the chase is on. Now, wait a minute. We just tried that deal. It didn't pan out so good. Why don't you wait till Michael tells you what he has in mind? Oh, Michael this, Michael that. Okay. Why don't you just marry him? I'm listening. As I started to say, we load a couple of cartons into a car and started across town, but in the opposite direction. Budget park and ride. This is ridiculous. They're on the moon. Oh. Wash me. <laughs> <laughs> and on this farm, he had a chick. Swinging his chick, I know. Ooh. Waldo Pepper, you in there? 
Get any action? <laughs> In this and movie? Now we're loading the stuff right now. Who's loading what stuff right now? Now quit squawking. I'll tell you about it later. Talk. Hey, Gus. Joe, come here. Uh, these are the good guys, right? Get a couple know. of small uh, cartons off the back of the truck and load them in the turtle back of my car. Okay, boss. I bet they're pushing counterfeit blue jeans. We're gonna put some of the stuff in the car to use as a decoy to keep the radar patrol off our tail. Oh, like a we duck, sir. On our tail. We're not gonna be in the car. We're gonna be in the truck with the rest of the stuff on the way to the yacht. You get it? Who is gonna be in the car? Rick Ocasek. Girl Scout cookie time. Ah. Each box contains a piece of Sid Melton. So where are we in the truck? We're in the talk? thing in the yacht. They'll never be caught. Alive. <laughs> hey, don't cut away so fast. Uh, barely room for Mr. Hoffa in there. <laughs> now here's the dope. Take it to Kurt Cobain's house. Oh. Oh. Bus supply. <laughs> well, get a nice get might be able to yeah. use Just it, take though. it easy and don't drive fast. Get back as fast as you can. Keys in the car. Right. Oh, I feel better. better? Right. Yeah. Helicopter's Good. Taking off. What? A, a helicopter aerial plane. Oh. Huh. Oh, didn't you have to bring your walker up here? Still standing by? Yes, sir. See if you can contact that plane. Oh, sir, may I suggest a sponge bath or something? Oh. Gee, it was just a joke. I'm sure your mother's very nice. Well, I mean, she's old, but... The... I just got it. This must be where the hypnoheliostatic stasis really kicks in. Hmm. It's the detector gauge. Some radar equipment just crossed the beam. Run it down. Notify Bill immediately. <gasps> radar! That's right. Radar makes a big return. We're back on track with radar. <sighs> I miss radar. I love radar. Not a wide variety of car colors back then. That's it. The limousine is right on the beam. Contact Bill and give him the bearing of the car. Then get hold of the helicopter and tell him to keep cruising over town. Yes, sir. And call my wife. She's remarried since we last talked. OX3. OX3. Calling These are the good guys. Feel their goodness wash all over you. Huh? Hugh Jass? Just a minute, I'll check. heading east. License 4 m Two, Bingo. Six, three. <laughs> Check. What's up? Spotted a car with some more of that stolen material. Chintz. Sure didn't wait long to try again. Head for the river road. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Come on, sing with me. Blue Ridge Mountain. <laughs> That's some right pretty country. Bobbers, red and white plastic bobbers. They float. Use them. He's gaining on them. Oh, 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 oh. Stop What's that. That wheel. I don't know something wrong with the steering wheel. It's Universal's crazy new radar ride. What's wrong with that guy? I don't know, but if he doesn't watch out, he's going to lose control of that car. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right there. Do something. I can't. Wow, must be Yeltsin driving that car. Uh -oh, there he goes. Hmm? Hey, that's a Model A. Different movie. <laughs> Acorn squash make a delicious winter soup. Van de Graaff generators. Practice science in your own home. But there was no monster. What is this thing? Am I helping at all? They've had time enough. Let's go. Right. Let's synchronize our ties. Either these are tiny gangsters or that's a huge car. Tiny gangster. You know, every single scene is done in cars. <clears throat> in the future, you will drive to work and play in huge loaves of hollowed out bread. Miracle Teflon Brewer's Yeast makes it possible. It was Boom Boom Washington. What did the Boom Boom stand for? We played bass. You see, that's right. Boom Boom. The problem is, there was too much radar early. Now there's radar. I don't care. These people have no idea of the drama unfolding in their backyards. I know. Oh, God, for a stinger right now. The drink or the missile? 
Oh, neither one. Okay. Looks like a young Hubert Humphrey piloting. I don't even know what we're looking for anymore. Clark's Q. Just spot a truck with material. It's the helicopter. They've spotted another load of material. Contact Bill and give him the bearing. Yes, sir. Oh, good. Let's watch the same scene from a different angle. Yeah. <laughs> Keep in line with that truck. Oh, is this what they mean by fall colors? Uh, gray and gray. All the leaves are gray. This <laughs> guy is Zip. Boeing OX3. I want to get it. You always get it. No, oysters, I think. Now well, that's fine. I'll have them in my hip pocket in no time. There's another car heading up the river road. We'll notify the police about the wreck on the way. So this may be a decoy to throw us off the track. Smart boy. Let's go. You really think I'm smart? Really? <laughs> we now return to Riptide. I almost killed myself when that was canceled. Really? This is so bad, I wish it was Air America. Yeah. You want to buy a house together? Well, why not just drive if you're going to fly that low? Hi, I'm new to the film. Beach balls, get your beach balls. Throw them back and forth on the beach. How many hats do you own? Oh, oh, they're using this super secret quiet helicopter to sneak up on the bad guys. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, they might have a cloaking device on that helicopter. Welcome to Action Valley Ranch. OXQ, OXQ, truck just turned off into Bouquet Canyon. Okay. That truck. It's okay. These is like they weren't even sure they were filming a chase scene. Radar makes two seams seem almost identical. Hey, it's the friendless ranger in the black sedan. Jesus movie gets out and stretches a lot, huh? Mm. Sure do. Now hang the radar in a tree or the bears might get it. I think I should take my lobster bib off. You sure this is the right spot? I guess we're a little early. Don't show up. Don't worry. Stainless steel Swedish meatballs. All stainless, all Swedish, all meatballs. Get them here. It's kind of like radar obvious service. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sealant do you think they use on this thing, huh? They would think about God. He's up there, you know. Round things. Today we are promoting round things. Half off all round things. So, Mike, did you know that Horshack's name meant the cattle are dying? Yes, I knew that. You did? Yes, I knew that. Attention all squirrels. Squirrels need round things, too. Think about it. You too, mule deer. Round things. It's a flying mantis. Hmm. Well, hello, Senator Johnson. Look, we're in a little clearing over behind those trees. Get around behind them and keep us covered. I just couldn't stop crying. Oh, oh, oh wait. Here they are. Wow, oh, that guy's snap rim is working overtime. <laughs> You know pie face. Hi, Tuna. It's all there. It's all there, all right. How about the dough? Oh, those two It's all there. Pay them all. He he he. Did I surprise you? You'll never get away with this. Copper. Michael will want to see the money. I got news for you. This is Michael's idea. Oh. A double cross, eh? I Must might have expected. Must we label everything? All right, hold it. It's the triple dog dare double cross dog. Oh, he got shot. What a lucky guy. No radar necessary here. Conventional warfare does the trick. Pew pew. I'm gonna shoot too. Pow. Um, I'll I'll be right back. I, I just just keep shooting. I forgot to get this thing that I gotta get. Radar was also used by the Hatfields and McCoys, both sides. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> now everyone surrenders to everyone else. <laughs> We all, all have, have the, the right, right to remain, remain silent. silent. Look, have the plane keep him in sight. Give me his bearing, I'll be following my car. <laughs> oh, my water broke. <laughs> A daring high-speed chase through Hugo, Minnesota. <laughs> we have stainless steel truffles. Do I get a lunch? No. Is there a movie? No, there's nothing. Silver almond cookies, on sale now. The Hiller 460 at least had an ashtray. Can I smoke? Anthony Robbins, father of five, involved in community affairs, flies his own helicopter. Well, oh, why'd I let her pick this tie? Hey, slug bug. <laughs> Got one. I had to go pick up my brother at the hospital, drop off the guns at Karen's house, and then back to stir the sauce. <laughs> I can't make it to the next rest stop. I've got to get a big gulp. Hugo, Minnesota encourages business development. I wish I had a dog. You know, fellas, I can just never get sick of this shot here. I'm in with you. Yeah. I had to sell the guns so I could get enough money to buy the coat. So I brought them back to Karen's house, but a mother had to go get it. OXQ, OXQ, car going northeast. Over Pennsylvania Avenue. We're riding to work or play in our helicopter. Well, I've got my wigs and I'm ready for my stand-up act. Let's get out of here. Relax. Nervous as a cat. I can't help it. I'd feel a whole lot better if we were on the yacht, miles away from Mickey. Forget about Mickey. He won't bother you anymore. My boys have taken care of him by now. You're wrong, brother. Oh, hi! Well, it looks like we underestimated Mr. Moran. Mickey, I didn't... Shut up! Ooh. Turn around, face the wall. Both of you. I'll hike my pants up even further. <coughs> okay, let's sing somewhere out there. Why shoot me? Well, you're starting to leave little accidents around the house. Michael who double-crossed you. Be a crime to separate you two. Boy, that'd be really rotten if you had a gun. Oh, oh thanks. Right in the first wound. Ow! Oh, what now? We're never going to get out of here. What do you want? Get back in the other room so we Wait, I thought that woman was that woman. Yeah. Huh? Why don't you ask us to turn around and face the wall? Please? How have you been? It's Blackie you're worrying about. That's been all taken care of. Yeah. Sure, I gave Mickey the money to spring him. Didn't he tell you? No, he didn't. When did this happen? Tomorrow? Oh, he just left here a little while ago. Said he was going straight to the lawyer. Oh, that. I can explain that. You didn't let him get very far. When you're through with a boyfriend, you're really through. Toilet tank floats. Stop your toilet from always flowing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you just how gullible I am. I'm gonna get coffee and a bear claw. You want anything? Give me the police. Turn around and face the wall. This wouldn't have happened if she'd used AT&T. Well, she's not dealing with AT&T. No substitutions. Oh, for the love of, we just wanna leave. Please shoot them all. Just let God sort them out. Plot thickener. Here, does it hurt when I... Ow! Oh, it does. Police department. Hello? Hi, who are you holding for? This is Bill Travis, radar patrol. Send homicide on an ambulance to 416 State Street, apartment 4. You ordered more homicide? Sure. Hey, it's the Sunday radar supplement. 
data is in on those anarchic meteors. We've recovered the balance of the atomic material. There might be some floating around, but all in all, I... Oh, it didn't take long to clean up that case. Go home! Yeah, but before we take any bars, let's remember that if it hadn't been for radar, we might never have found them at all. That reminds me. I like the radar. The budget for radar patrol is being increased. We'll be able to get that extra equipment you were talking about. Well, that's good news, Chief. And can we take the thing hey, off our I'm car? I'm one of those telemeters. My girl has a date tonight, and I'd like to keep an eye on her. <laughs> <laughs> you always have the last word, Howard. <laughs> Not enough Sid Melton for oh, my taste. Oh, never. <laughs>